Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. We look at your shows, Desley, Search, Passes, Passes, Mean Tax. I'm Useful Idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to go to Israel by way of the USA, by way of Israel, by way of the USA. And that's to say that uh, it's funny how uh, the United States and Israel are so incredibly involved in each other's elections. It's hilarious to hear people like Netanyahu and, uh, bitch and moan about uh, American influence in the United States election. And then the latest claim that he came out and said that he's uh, claiming there's a worldwide plan uh, to uh, defeat the Likud party in Netanyahu. And uh, that may or may not be true, but it's funny just to hear him say it because we already know he's extremely paranoid. And uh, part of his paranoia is due to this group called uh, V15 or Victory 15. And um, it's an Israeli group hired uh, and has uh, features a, a large group of former Obama came, campaign managers. So uh, Netanyahu, uh, of course, he doesn't bring it up when he comes over here uh, to pander to uh, the American uh, neocons and APAC. But when he goes back to Israel, he's very candid about the fact that uh, he thinks that there's a, a, a conspiracy by this B-15 group. In fact, Likud even filed a complaint. But uh, the Netanyahu uh, accuses uh, that the elections have been compromised, the integrity has been compromised, and also claims that millions of dollars are being funneled from outside the country. <laughs> Imagine Netanyahu uh, com complaining about the millions of dollars that are being funneled from outside the country. But of course, he's not talking about his own campaign contributions, which I will get to in the next part of this video, of course, 90% of his campaign money coming from the United States. So, But he's not talking about that American money that's funneled into the election. He's talking about the other American money that's funneled into the election to the opposition, which is dwarfed by what Netanyahu receives. Um, B-15 even uh, admits that most of their funding comes from three large uh, donors, uh, two of which are from the U.S. That's another interesting parallel because Netanyahu's uh, three biggest uh, donors uh, are from the United States and give uh, something like 60% of his uh, total uh, campaign contributions. And, um, and they uh, say that there's no connection between them and uh, Obama administration in the United States, but oddly, uh, B-15 does share an office with a group directly sponsored by the United States State Department, a group called One Voice. And word has it that as of uh, last January, they've actually merged. So uh, so there may or may or not be an involvement, but it's still uh, pretty hilarious because uh, let's get to the, the Netanyahu part now. 90% uh, of Netanyahu's campaign money comes from the United States, and that's according to Israel's own state comptroller office. And uh, pretty much peanuts compared to United States elections, but $250,000, um, the same that he's gotten in the last three elections over, over the last 20 years. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, almost nobody in uh, Israel gives to Netanyahu and the Likud party. So most of their money comes from the United States, and that, that should be a, a staggering fact uh, to those out there who still are unconvinced. Um, and so we have the the uh, uh, Fallick family uh, from Florida, Fallick family, <laughs> duty-free uh, empires, they're, where their money comes from. And then we have the Book family from New Jersey and the Schottenstein family from California who uh, uh, has the American Eagle uh, chain. And um, so just those three families are 50% of not Netanyahu's donations. We have another 40% of Netanyahu's donations that come from the United States and then 10%. Uh, come from somewhere else, um, but uh, no, uh, no Israelis are, are giving to Likud in Israel, apparently. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure somebody would be happy to correct me. And uh, many other Israeli leaders also uh, get their money from U.S. donors and, and a lot of the same donors. And um, so no surprise there. Uh, and then, of course, uh, how is Sheldon Adelson involved? One always has to ask that. And he's a big supporter of... Uh, Netanyahu. In fact, it's uh, now we find out that Net uh, uh, Sheldon Adelson, uh, the big man himself, uh, was up in the gallery in Congress watching the Netanyahu speech 
uh, to his minions in the GOP Congress. And uh, so Sheldon Adelson uh, towers over this, and he doesn't uh, specifically give much money uh, to Likud or uh, Netanyahu, but he doesn't have to uh, because he runs uh, the free Israeli newspaper called Israel Today, and it toes the line exactly along Sheldon Adelson's policies, which are Netanyahu's policies, uh, which are basically contained in, in a single sentence, we want to bomb Iran. And Sheldon Adelson has uh, said it uh, just as uh, blatantly as Netanyahu. Um, and so he has been delivering this Netanyahu message for 10 years uh, with this free newspaper. Uh, so it's uh, uh, free propaganda and quite an edge. And in spite of that edge, I guess they're still having trouble uh, selling the Netanyahu uh, message in Israel. We had 35,000 Israelis uh, march uh, against Netanyahu, and my hat's off to them, and that's very good to see. And uh, we, we see that people are starting to wake up and realize that these policies of the, the Likud and Netanyahu, and these right-wingers, are um, very extreme and only have uh, made Israel more insecure and have not solved any problems um, and have a completely different agenda. And it's not that I suspect anything's going to change uh, if Net Netanyahu gets voted out. Um, somebody else will take over, and if any, and if any moderate candidates uh, get involved in running the Israeli government, uh, they'll probably end up shot because that's what happens. Uh, people think that's the only, that only happens in other uh, countries in the Middle East, but uh, I have to remind you that it's happened in Israel as well. And um, oddly enough, um, uh, American Jews give 60% uh, to Democrats. And uh, I, I was rather surprised at that, just for the simple fact that uh, we have so much uh, Jewish money uh, going to uh, uh, Republican candidates as well, but uh, also the fact that the uh, Zionist Israeli um, foreign policies are, uh, which they write are then given to the United States and then become the United States foreign policy uh, uh, interacting with uh, those uh, Israeli loyalists and dual citizens that are already in the United States government and all the uh, the loyalists and traitors in, in the United States Congress and um, so they uh, their those those policies line up so it's just kind of interesting how uh, uh, those dynamics work. So once again, it shows ultimately that um, there is no um, difference. Uh, there's, there's one policy, and uh, the Republicans and the Democrats are just two different expressions of the same policy. And, and then the other you know, towering element about this that's, uh, that's so interesting is uh, uh, Netanyahu complaining about the B-15 group and then Net Netanyahu getting all his campaign funds from uh, Americans and then bringing up Sheldon Adelson, this is Sheldon Adelson who poured it, uh, over 150 million uh, and an, an unknown amount on top of that uh, due to lax uh, US um, uh, reporting rules but 150 million dollars in, in blanketed uh, uh, GOP candidates in the last American elections in fact, all, all the uh, midterm elections and presidential elections, and um, so the, the the prime example of this intermingling between uh, money and players uh, between uh, Israel and the United States. So for anybody to be uh, bitching about that arrangement and um, complaining, uh, there's been every opportunity to correct it. But that's the system. That's the way they built it. That's what the what how they want it, and that's how it is. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?